What's up, guys? It's Max. Let's talk about a very sensitive subject, very important subject here. Kabam just recently released some news uh, when it comes to the Legends run. So let's go into our game, but then let's bring it up on screen here. And basically, regarding 7.2 Legends runs, Mercs and the future of the Legends program. Now, um, one thing I want to talk about, I'm not going to sit here and read it because there's a lot to be said. I've tried to, I've, I, I've sat here and read the whole thing and talked about it. And this whole video turned out to be a 30 minute video. We're not going to watch the 30 minute video. This is going to be a condensed version. One thing I want to point out about what's in there is basically is Kabam is saying they're stopping the program. They're no longer going to do it. And it's, I have it highlighted there. Hopefully you can see it is because I believe this is one of the reasons I personally believe is not from Kabam. It's not from any connections to them. But this is my own personal opinion is that they cannot control and really fully 100% detect who is playing this game uh, legitly uh, and who is actually cheating. I think they can kind of have an idea of the cheaters, but because there's not 100% certain or they can give an excuse on to why they are doing something that caused a red flag is um, from the MCOC team, they, they, they just can't do it. So because of this, they are completely stopping the program. Now, I myself don't have any ties to the Legends program. I don't really care for the legends program i know it's kind of harsh if you're watching this and you go for it and you enjoy it and you run them every single time um i truly believe there's only about let's just say 300 maybe even less players that this is gonna affect um but if you're a player like me that doesn't do legends runs if you're a player that this is like, oh, yeah, I mean, I've never went for one. First of all, because I don't have the roster. Second of all, is because I don't have the time. Third of all, I don't want to sit there and strategize and spend the units and health pods and do everything that it takes to become a legend when it comes to these legends runs. Um, should you care for this? Yes. This is why I'm making a video, because I actually care to the fact that this is being removed not because it affects me as a person as a player that does these legends runs all the time and i'll get to the reason why you should be caring um especially especially if you are a merc user um if you're the person that's been using the merc to get these titles to get content done to to, to pilot the alliance wars if you've been using these services you should be extremely afraid of what's going to what I'm going to say right now and what's going to happen if we keep going this route. So let's get into the game. Let's take this off. And this is why I'm saying what I'm saying, guys. This is why I'm making this video. And again, it's not because I have legends right right on my name right there where you see Max and it has legends right nicely under it. It's not it's not that I go for these titles or these exclusive champions, it's, I don't go for them. I've said it before and this doesn't affect me, but why I'm making this video and why I wanna speak to the Merc users, not so much the Merc, okay? I want, because for each one Merc, guess how many users of that Merc are there? Maybe 10, maybe 50, maybe 100. That's the people that I wanna talk about. This is hopefully the video. If you're watching this or if you happen to know somebody that, uses the Merc, let them watch this video. Maybe we can agree or disagree. Um, we're going to talk about some stuff that it might be like, whoa, Max, why are you saying that? You sound like you're on the side of the Mercs. But let's talk about it, okay? There's there's a quite a few different communities inside this game. A lot of them are going to be, let's talk about the Merc lovers, the Merc users and the community that Let's, I'm going to call it the Robin Hood community. Um, and because I've seen it and I read it, it's that mentality that it's us versus this big giant company that's a million billion dollar company constantly making money from the players, from the vulnerable players that cannot say no, you know? And I get it. I, I just made a video about the addiction about the game, you know? Um, about how we get tied up into this game and we sometimes do and make decisions that are not probably the best. So it's us versus this big giant company and the company is out to make more money 
and and if we keep giving them the money then they are just going to care less for us and that is why i hire my friend my brother my sister this is my friend that i trust with my account that i've yes thrown in some money into but i rather give my money to him and he will complete the services for me and kabam you can just laugh away that you build something difficult and I got it done because I have my friend here. So I feel like that's the mentality through the community. But also, there are players out there and these are the players that I kind of really more want to talk to. I want to talk to the players that actually care about the game. There's competitive players that care about the game and this is why you are paying for mercs you're paying for mercs because you care to get those rewards you care to get those exclusive champions you care to be the number one or up in the top um, when it comes to your teammates your alliances or your account you care so much that you want to pay someone else to have that content for you whether it's you don't have the time whether it is you don't have the time to plan it out, to, to like sit there and do it, you might have the money, the resource and monetary to get and pay somebody else for services for you to do. Now, I know you could be viewing this as, and this is the uh, other point of view. Now, we're going to take cheating away from the Merc, okay? Because part of the fact that you're paying somebody to do something, it's its cheating, you know, that you're cheating the, the policies, the rules of the game, you know, especially if it's a competitive area, which, which really hurts the other player. But because we don't know the other player, we don't have a face behind that other account, we kind of sometimes maybe can care less about them, right? Um, but when it comes to your passion about the game, this is where I want to get your attention on. I want to, I want to, I want to talk to you. And you might be viewing using the Merc as a service. I know we use services all the time. I mean, it happens all the time. Here's a good example. Like I want my car clean, but I don't want to sit under the sun and wash my own car. You know, yes, I bought my own car, but I don't want to wash it. I'd rather just enjoy a clean car car so i pay someone to clean my car and guess what they clean it for me i give them the the payment and now you know i'm driving this beautiful clean car i mean that is a simple example of service now does that benefit me anything i, I don't know maybe a compliment by somebody saying hey how beautiful is that car but what if i'm making this video what if i'm trying to make this video and put it on youtube and I am this big giant YouTuber, you know, and we're talking, we have like 10 million followers. And instead of me making my own videos now, I actually pay this model, me, uh, to make these videos for me. And I have someone else edit them for me and I post it and I get all the profits or all the uh, rewards because of the video that I paid for you know, is that cheating? Is that cheating? Maybe, maybe you're viewing this Merc service as services, you know, you're like, Hey, you know what? That's not cheating in my books. I'm just paying this guy to do a job, you know, and I pay people all the time to do jobs. Like I have a company and in, in the company I have employees and guess what? They service me and I get the best, the final rewards, you know, maybe the concept about how we view Mercs, it, it's mixed in with those two uh, two scenarios that I just gave. But this is my caution to the, the guy and the girl that uses the Merc. This is who I want to talk to. This is the video up to you. Um, is let's, we got to be very careful. You cannot, and what I mean by we got to be careful is us as a community. Maybe you don't use them, you don't use the Merc and, and, and you're part of the community. We got to be very careful when we see actions like these. When we see stuff like this being removed from the game, this is, I believe, the second thing that they removed from the game. What was it? The gifting event, the gifting badges. Um, um, those are completely gone and they're not coming back. Here's the Legends um, program that is gone now and who knows if it's going to come back. Um, you know, I doubt it. But what if, like I said, me and you are not very competitive when it comes to the Legends program, but what if we tie ourselves in a situation where we say, hey, you know what? I don't care for Alliance War anymore. I'm not going to do Alliance War. 
I'm just going to stop until Kabam polices it and does it and fixes it because there's pilots, there's mercs, there's all kinds of cheaters going on inside Alliance War. I cannot trust this B Alliance because we're A Alliance and I've heard that B Alliance cheats all the time. Like I have screenshots and proof and I can't and I give that to Kabam, but they don't do anything about that. Well, it might get to the point where Kabam's like, you know, we, you're right. I cannot do anything about that because I cannot. I don't have the police and the resources to be and put a police system or create a staff, a develop, a, uh, a a a team to just monitor the cheating inside Alliance War. You know, there's like hundreds of alliances fighting each other. I can't do that. So Kabam decides to remove alliance war guess what alliance war is gone from the game so you that you enjoy alliance war or enjoy arenas or enjoy incur incursions or enjoy alliance quests what if these competitive areas of the game start getting pulled away why because there's cheaters there's mercs there's people that just don't play the game correctly the way it's supposed to be played and these are competitive areas of the game I've also play other video games. I also play other games and I've seen other people complain about cheating. Just recently, I'll talk about very quickly, nothing to do with MCOC, but there's Warzone. It's a Call of Duty video game. Guess what? What if this game was so competitive and we're talking very competitive that there was some monetary income tied to it? So... I'm the YouTuber. You're watching me on the camera, on a video, on a phone, on a TV. Hi, everybody. Um, but you're you're seeing me, and guess what? I am being paid hundreds or thousands of dollars to compete in Alliance War. So you're seeing my footage of me playing Alliance War live, and I get cheated, and I get constantly find out that I get cheated on, and cheated on, and cheated on. And I'm, I got this big following of people following me and in the MCOC world. And I decided, you know what, I'm done because Kabam, the MCOC team cannot control the cheaters and they never will. They've said it months ago. We're talking here in the future, right? Um, back in August 9th, they made a published post. They started off with the Legends program. They removed it. They said they couldn't control the cheating, so they removed it. And they won't. So I'm out. I'm out of this game. I'm done with the cheating. It's not fair. And I move on to this other game. What if we start losing, guys? What if we start losing? Not that it's very important to you, but what if we start losing our, our like content creators, you know, because they can't handle the cheating or they can't handle the what's currently going on in game and then the, the MCOC team can't really control it. What if that starts to happen? Would you care if you start seeing that, you know, the love of the game starts vanishing away? That's why I think if you're still listening and you're the Merc user, I think we should stop. We need to stop using those Merc users, man. And I'm saying we because not that I use Mercs, okay? Not that I use the services. Don't get it confused. It's because you and I are summoners. You and I love this game. You and I enjoy playing this game all the time. And I feel that you use this Merc and these services because you love the game. So I think if you stop, I think our game will keep going and will keep growing. Um, and, and we'll definitely enjoy the game for many years. And I think we can play it safe. Not that it's going to be gone 100%, but if you can do your part to stay away from that, um, you're, you're doing a lot more service than, than you think, you know, and if you can't get it done, guess what, man, guess what? I am not even completed on some of the content. And if you've been watching my channel, you know that I haven't done <laughs> I haven't done a lot of this stuff. Heck, I haven't done chapter two. We just completed chapter one a few days ago on stream. And I didn't die. I didn't use a crazy amount of units or revives. I think I might have. I don't even think I used a revive to complete chapter one. Now, it's not 100%, but hey, so far to get that completion, I didn't do it. You know, maybe, maybe why don't you put yourself in that situation where you're at? You know, you can be there with me. You don't have to rush and be, you know, 
top player constantly for for these rewards you know take it slow take take your own pace the reason why i haven't completed it is because of time you know i'm not I'm not going out and paying someone to do it you know i'm not uh, i'm not saying that i don't have i have the skill either you know i shoot i do mistakes i do mistakes all the time and i die a lot so i am not the best player out there i and the fact that i don't have the time to sit there and practice and practice and practice lets you know that i'm not the best player but i i play this game at my pace you know i love the arenas i do the arenas and maybe that's taking too much time for me um, inside this game but I hope this message gets across um, and I hope you see the big red flag. Basically, that there's a huge thing happening right now. Kabam, that's my point of view, is that they cannot monitor and really police the cheating 100%. So they're taking stuff away. Let them not take more stuff away. Let them focus. And I wish they would create more things more competitive areas you know inside this game for us to have fun and for us to have more bragging rights but play it right play it clean um and for the merc man i I don't know what to say (laughs) like i don't know what to tell you uh like but anyways guys i hope um you you kind of get the message of this video uh again this is the first time we're actually talking about this we're more like sitting here and just chatting about um or i'm chatting you're listening i know it's kind of harder to get a message across um i'll see if we do more videos like these about cheating or mercs or something um when it comes to um the game you know Uh, i'm I'm thinking of some things i i want to see if i can kind of coordinate and share with you guys but this is it um it's a big moment the big moment that uh, the MCOC or the Kabam team has released uh, when it comes to removing a big part that's been in the game for a long time because of cheating and mercs. So hopefully we see the writing on the wall, guys, the big giant flags. Let's stop what's going on. Let's fix it ourselves. We have the power. You have it. I have it. Um, and let's 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 make this game better. So thanks for watching, guys. I know it still became a lengthy video, but I hope you enjoy. See you guys in the next video. Peace.